Hello everyone, Matt from Satsecure UK here again. Today I'm going to do a quick video show you how to um, make your own CCTV cable. So a lot of CCTV cable you can buy is called pre-terminated cable. Looks kind of like this. Yeah, you've got a, um, a video and you've got a power. On the other end of the cable looks like this. So it's video and power again except the power is a female one instead of a male one which is on the other end. It's always best to make your own, you know, run your own cable, buy a big reel of cable uh, which is usually a lot, lot kind of better quality copper in that kind of cable than this kind of stuff. You can see, I mean this kind of cable is so thin and usually the thickness of the cable dictates the kind of quality and how long a run you can make using that cable. So this kind of cable, I mean we usually sell in 18 meter reels which it works for like 2 megapixel pitches but you're always better we found uh, using or making your own cable. So cable on a reel usually looks like this so it's a twin cable as you can see it's a lot thicker um, if you look at the ends here you've got one that's the power end uh, and one that's the video end so the video ends just kinda like um, coax cable basically this cable is called RG59 cable plus 2 core um, it's a bit of a long-winded name um, but the RG59 part is this part which is the video which is a slightly thinner coax cable and the two core part is this bit because it's got two cores on it. So what you're going to need for this is a BNC crimp tool which look like these. You can usually pick them up for around £20. This is an optional extra. This is like a coax cable stripper. Basically you can use this for stripping the, um, the video cable, coax cable or RG59 cable as we're using in this video. Uh, you're going to need DC male and DC female power ends, which are the power ends for the CCTV. Uh, you're also going to need uh, BNC crimp connectors, which kind of look like these. Uh, so there's three parts of those. Uh, there's some pretty small parts in them, especially this little bit here, tiny little thing. Uh, so you're going to have to be careful not to lose those because they do go walk about quite easily. Okay, well I'll clear the surface and um, we'll get started. Okay, so first thing you need to do is obviously split the cable. A lot of the cable that you buy comes like this, so you're going to have to just pull it apart, you know, like this to um, separate the two ends, obviously the power and the video end. And what you want to do is grab your um, BNC um, coax cable cutter, and it's got two ends. If you look here, this end is quite a lot thinner than this end. So you want to grab the thicker end first, thicker end, um, and you want to cut the cable, very score it very very lightly. And you want to score kind of around here, probably like two centimeters. Just want to score it, uh, and then you want to pull this off, uh, which usually you know, comes off with a little bit of pressure. Okay. <laughs> Um, so what we've got here are like what a lot of installers call um, short and curlies. Um, so what we're going to do with those is twist them all down, um, twist them back to the very bottom of the cable. So you've got something that looks like this. Then what you want to do is grab a set of pliers and cut these little end bits off. So you want to grab you want to cut them quite short, cut them off. So you're left with something that looks like that. Then you want to grab your BNC crimp or um, cable cutter again um, and probably go, I don't know, probably about 5mm down or at least half way down and cut this bit off. So you've got something that looks like that now. Then you want to grab your um, BNC crimp connector and I'll open these up to show you all the bits. So inside a BNC crimp connector we've got this bit which kind of looks like the main part of the, um, the BNC connector. Pretty much the main part of it. Got one of these little things which is like the bit that you crimp. And we've got this tiny little thing here which is the basically the main connector that connects all the video footage um, to your DVR or whatever you're wanting to connect a camera to. 
Um, so this bit goes on the end of here, um, and then you grab your BNC tool. What you want to do, if you look on this BNC tool here, you've got loads of different types of connectors. So this BNC crimp tool, um, you know, is suitable for all different types. The one that I use mainly is this top one here, but there's a tiny, tiny little one um, which is used for crimping this tiny little thing here onto the actual um, cable itself. So I'm just going to crimp that on. What I also like to do is just grab the end of this and just, cr and just crimp that right on there. make sure that it's properly on there so now that thing is not coming off it's properly on next thing we want to do is grab our little circular bit here and slip that over the end of the cable over the top of the bit we just cut down you can push that a bit further down if you want and then this bit goes on the end so that goes on there push that right down you should hear it click and you see that the um, connectors or at least the bit we just crimped on has just come straight through there. Um, so we push that down onto there, push that over the top of there like that, and then we grab our crimp tool again. This is the final time we'll need to use it. And what we want to do, if you can see, is just crimp that onto there and just push it so it's really tight. You might want to do it a couple of times just to make sure it's properly on all the way down, all the way down and you should come out of that with a pretty neat looking connection so now we've got this and it should look you see that little silver ring that we had earlier is just kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it but it's on there and that is not coming off now it's not coming off and that is how you crimp on a um, BNC connector onto a RG59 cable. Next bit we want to do is the um, two core power cable. We want to grab our little connector again and you can use like a Stanley knife if you don't have one of these. You can get these for about, for about a fiver uh, but they do come in very useful and they do last a long time. They've got like a handy little open close mechanism here so uh, you can always leave it closed nice and neat. Similar to what we did last time, probably want to do maybe a centimetre on this one. We want to score just lightly, very lightly around the cable. Now we've got a positive and a negative. And obviously it's no good with just plastic all the way up to the end, so we want to expose the copper on this end, so I'm going to use this tiny little the slightly thinner one now positive negative, ready posy blacky neggy on the end of our power cable and now we want to grab our DC jack. I'm going to use a male jack for the um, for this demonstration. If you look on the male and female DC jacks, they've got positive and negative on them. Um, so following the um, ready, posy, blacky, neggy rule, which I live my life by, uh, we want to stick those into here like this and push them right in. Push them right in. So now we've got something that looks like that. Now what you do is grab a tiny little screwdriver, which I'm going to have to go and grab, and tighten those up. So now we've got something that looks like this. Final piece of the puzzle, we just want to grab a tiny screwdriver, preferably cross-headed, but I imagine that a uh, flat-headed one would do, uh, and just tighten these little connections up here. tight it's not going to come off 
So now we've got a cable that looks like this. That's pretty much how to crimp a BNC connector. That's all you need to do. Thanks very much guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you found it informative.